guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who have been here for a long time, welcome back. And for those of you who are my new boos, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup like I did in high school. Not cute. Yeah, I literally like just learned how to do my makeup like a year ago. Like I didn't even know what concealer was a year ago. So I'm obviously still learning, but back in high school, I had no clue what I was doing. I didn't even have eyebrows, so... <laughs> That just gives you a little hint on what you're gonna see today. I need to go take off this face so that I can have a fresh face to put my high school face on. So, if you're interested in seeing how I used to do my makeup in high school, just keep watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows. I know I need to get my eyebrows done, but you know what? We should just be thankful that I have eyebrows today because five years ago in high school, I didn't have eyebrows, okay? So in high school, all I did was fill in my eyebrows similar to what I do now, but I literally just use like an eyeshadow palette to fill in my brows. Obviously, I don't have the same stuff from five years ago. So I'm gonna use the Patrick Star Glam as a palette, and I'm just gonna use these two colors, kind of mix them with a angled brush to fill in my eyebrows. Listen, I don't know what I was filling in, I think it was like the style to not have eyebrows. I plucked my eyebrows away. They were gone. I'm gonna take the eyebrows I do have today and do them like I was in high school. I literally just filled them in like this. No cleaning them up afterwards with concealer. No shaping them, just put a little eyeshadow in my eyebrows and called it good. And now it's gonna look less terrible because I actually have eyebrows to fill in, but Ooh, girl, before it was rough. That's it. That's all for the eyebrows. Okay, and also I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. That's it. Now I use like 20 products a day. All right, I guess the next thing I do is put on foundation. No primer or anything like that. Just put foundation straight onto my face. So um, I'm going to use my Fit Me foundation, and then I'm going to use my Morphe sponge. If you want a sponge like this for free, you better go check out my giveaway. To win one of these because one of these are in the giveaway but i used to use those like white triangle shaped sponges in high school then i got with it and started using beauty sponges so i don't have any of those white sponges otherwise i'd be using those so crazy how much you can tell the difference not putting primer on before your foundation i can like see all my pores and it's fabulous got my foundation on we're about halfway done guys next step would just be for me to put a powder all over my face so yeah, no concealer, no nothing. I'm just gonna take the Hello Flawless Benefit Powder and just put this all over my face. So at least I was like setting my foundation with something. It's like I don't even have to look to do this makeup routine. All right, last thing for my face is just blush. So, and then we're gonna be done with our face makeup. I can like see so much texture in my face and my face just looks so like flat. Like, everything is one color. Like, where's the bronzer? Where's the concealer? Where's the brightening powder? Where's the highlight? For eyes, I literally had two eyeshadow colors, and they were, I think, the brand Mary Kay, and that was, like, the first makeup I ever used. So I had two eyeshadows, and they were, like, in these little squeezy tube bottles, so it was, like, a liquid eyeshadow, and I used them the same way every single day. So the first one was, like, a just, like, a neutral base color, so I'm going to go in with Tempura from the Soft Glam Palette because I don't have any kind of um, liquid eyeshadow that would work for this in those shades. So I literally just put the transition shade all over my lid. That's what I look like except it was like a shimmery, neutral, almost creamy white color. I would smear that all over my eyelids with my fingers. And then I had like a dark bronzy shimmer that I would put literally just on my crease. So my crease is tiny because I have wooded eyes and I would just put the shimmer on my crease. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade bronze. It's pretty similar. It was actually a little bit darker, the shade that I had in high school, but this is pretty close. And I'm just gonna put it on my crease. It's so weird that I did this because I didn't like, I mean, I knew I guess the shape of my eye, but I didn't realize like, oh yeah, I have hooded eyes. And it doesn't really matter what you put on this tiny little crease because when you open your eyes, it disappears. I mean, I guess I knew that, but I didn't know how to do my makeup properly to help that. So I got a little bit of bronze on there and then I open my eyes and it's gone. Bye-bye. So yeah, that's literally what I did for my eyes. And I hate it looking back at pictures because it's like one-dimensional eyes. Like everything about my makeup was so one-dimensional. Okay, 
and I did my winged liner every single day, but I did not know how to do a wing. So I'll show you, I'll show you guys what I did. Honestly, for some people, only putting makeup in your crease probably works, but for my eye shape and like the colors I'm using and only using two shades, this does not look good on me. So for my wing liner, literally all I did was like make a straight line like it didn't even go up toward my brow, it just went like straight out. My eyes look sad and droopy because it's just this little tiny line that goes out and it's straight out and when I open my eyes, all you can see is this little nub that hangs out. Embarrassing. Last thing I did was just curl my lashes and put some mascara on, so that's what we're gonna do. I think I, I told you guys this story before, but one time in high school I had my arm resting on the counter while I was doing curling my lashes and my arm slipped off the counter and I ripped out all my eyelashes. Wow, I can see all the tiny little pores in my nose because I didn't use primer. Just put one coat of mascara on. Called it good. Here's my high school makeup look, guys. Super short video because it literally took me less than 10 minutes every day to do my entire makeup routine and now it takes me an hour. Most embarrassing is like, I didn't have eyebrows. I'm like, who made that a thing? Who made not having eyebrows a trend and like popular? I literally plucked my life away. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to like relive and like go through some old pictures and find, you know, my makeup looks that I used to do, which is literally nothing. I didn't really have a makeup look because I used five products every single day. Make sure you are subscribed and head over to my giveaway video to find out how you can win a lot of cool stuff. I also have an Instagram giveaway going on right now and Lonnie and I have a giveaway over on our vlog channel. Our vlog channel is always linked down below in the description box so if you want to go subscribe and check us out over there, do that. We post every Sunday night. Thank you so much for watching and before I go, let's do our shout out for this video. Today's shout out goes to Uni Chan. I always see you commenting on my videos and you're so sweet always reminding me to say hi to Ralphie for you. So thank you for being on my channel and supporting me and my little family. I appreciate you and love you so much. Shout out to you, girl. All right, guys, that's everything for this video. I love you. Hoo. And I'll see you in my next video. Renicorn is out. Bye, guys.